everybody, this is Jason Ritchie here, and uh, today we're going to be learning about getting the maximum amount of volume out of your amplifier. No pedals, no feedback suppressors, anti-feedback devices, nothing. Just plugging straight into an amplifier and getting the most volume that you possibly can. Learning how to set the dials on the amp and how your amplifier works will help you later with other pedals and also with anti-feedback devices, okay? The amp I've had for 20 years. But the same principles that we're gonna learn today apply to any amplifier that you're gonna use. So when I fly into a festival and I can't bring my own amp and there's something on stage, the process that I'm about to go through with you guys is exactly the same process that I go through with any new amplifier. So this is how I get the most tone out of my rig. Funny enough, I learned this from a drummer. <laughs> that drummer's name is Big Al Loro. And he and I was on stage at Churchill Downs in Kentucky, where the Kentucky Derby is. And I couldn't get loud enough. And, and Al reached over and did this to my amplifier. And that's how I learned how to do this. So here we go. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the amplifier. So over here, we have all of the knobs, volume, treble, mids, and bass. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is just turn the volume knob up. Now, you'll notice that if I play right now, nothing comes out of the amplifier at all. A lot of amps are like this in that you have to engage the treble, the mid, and the bass just a little bit in order to get signal, okay? So on a lot of amps, you won't. You can just turn the volume all the way up and it'll play, but some you have to inch the knobs up just a little bit. So I have just barely engaged about it. one and a quarter, one and a quarter of middle, one and a quarter of bass. Okay, so here's where the amp is now volume-wise. Now you, you can't tell, obviously, you're at home in YouTube land, but the amp's pretty loud. Now I'm using a Jason Ritchie custom signature microphone from Lone Wolf. It's available on the Lone Wolf website. But this will work with any microphone at all. A bullet microphone, a 57, any microphone at all. Watch how loud I can get the amp with no feedback. Okay, so right now I'm turning it up to around, what is it at, seven? Seven, okay, back up there. I'm gonna turn it up more. Even more, right to the edge of feedback, right there. right now the amp at eight and a half and I could probably even go almost up to ten okay I, I, I now I'm, I'm using a low Z microphone that on a on a uh, uh, on a bullet mic or something you probably wouldn't get that because you'd be getting distortion but you notice my tone is already pretty good and I haven't even turned on treble mid or bass what people don't talk about is there is a lot of treble, mid, and bass inside just your volume. When you talk to like people, did you see Albert King or did you see Stevie Ray Vaughan in a club? A lot of times, if they saw them in a small club, a lot of times when you ask them how it was, they'll tell you <laughs> that it was too loud, okay? As great as they were, they'll tell you that. The reason for that is, is because so much treble, bass, and mids come from volume alone. I mean, just now. I mean, it sounds pretty Cotton-esque, James Cotton-esque, right? Just with volume alone, okay? So what am I gonna do? Now, now I wanna fine tune my tone. So I'm gonna start adding 
treble, mid, and bass. Now, I told you that volume should have in parentheses behind it treble, mid, and bass. Well, treble, mid, and bass should have in parentheses behind them volume. Because when I turn these up, I'm going to start to get feedback because I'm getting more volume. So I need to back off my volume knob according to the amount of treble, bass, and mids I add. Okay, so I've come down from about eight and a half, and you notice I'm still not feeding back right now on eight and a half, and now I've changed my tone. Let's see if we can play a little bit. <laughs> blaring right now. It's super loud. It's in an easy, like, probably 120 decibels. So I'm going to take a little bass off, okay? I'm going to take a little of the mids off. I'm going to add a little treble, just for my trying to get it to where I like it. So you see I brought the treble up to about three, mid is at zero, and bass is around six, okay? I, I could change it, I could do more, it's all a matter of taste, okay? But the more of these I add, the less volume I add. The more of the volume I add, the less of these I add, okay? So that's how it works. So if you need to get louder at a gig, back off on your tone controls and turn your volume up. If you want better tone and pretty much equal volume, add a little of the tone controls, and then add off the volume. These knobs here add volume. This knob here adds tone. Yes, it says volume, and yes, these basically say tone, but they work together and against each other. That's all you need to know to get great tone out of an amplifier. Any amplifier, straight in. Then you add your pedals. Then you add your anti-feedback. Once you can do this to a rig, you're set. Then you'll understand how to use the pedals that Lone Wolf offers. We are looking forward to working with you. Thank you so much. Jason Ritchie here. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for subscribing below. See you later.